All right, you guys, so we're on day four in total of this whole project from plating to framing to where we're at now. So today we're gonna button up. Ah, oh, that thing was loud. Today we're gonna button up all of our loose ends. We have drywall backing that needs to go in still. This balloon wall needs to be framed still. Yesterday, we stick framed all that, got our header in for our garage, and we're making progress. We were hoping to have all of our framing completed in two days, but we came up a little short. We were short material on the first day, so that's okay. Today we'll make sure that all of our corners are buttoned up nice and tight. All of our top plates are all nailed. By this afternoon, we'll be doing plumb and line, which is the process of making sure that all of our walls are straight and plumb. And then from there, we'll go ahead and do our exterior sheathing around the whole building. Those corners are buttoned. That one's done. We're backed out on there, backed out there, backed out there. We're having things, guys. So my Martinez hammer took a crap. These handles are known for breaking, so I kind of expected it. This is the second handle in like three months. And I taped the shit out of them too. I would think they would last. All right, get us rolled out on day four. 88 and 5 8. 88 and 5 eighths. We get to use the $20 Hilti gun. I got this at a yard sale. If you guys don't yard sale, you need to. This elevation is right here. All right. That's top of that landing. This elevation is top of stair tread okay. at this location. Okay. So this is the tops of the stairs Yeah. running through. That's where we're at. That's why we're- That's why the 80 door won't work. Well, it doesn't work for anything. It doesn't even work for 6-8. So we're gonna go through and nut down all of these guys, get all of our plates on the red lines that we snapped when we did our plating. Ah, 
I really, I really wasn't thinking when I stacked all these two by four in here. I have no room to get in. Perfect. I wonder if you guys can see that. Those are our new banners. We're gonna have three foot by five foot and then I think a couple two by fours. You know, I have to tell you guys, as much as I hate drinking water, it's a must on hot days. These little guys are nice to do. The last couple of houses we've had, had like HDU 14s, big old things. For those of you that aren't familiar with hardware, I will put a picture of an HDU 12 or an HDU 14 on the side here. So you guys can see the difference in what I'm putting on and what we normally put on. place is about to look a whole lot bigger. Hello, man. Money, money, man, right there. I think they should smoke constantly all day. Beautiful. Are you going crown down? Yeah, crown down. Please. Makes it easier. Hey, we're church still looks new. I quit wearing it after someone at the gas station told me to have a good day at the lumber yard. <laughs> not That's funny. No, it's not. <laughs> it's upsetting is what it was. Sherry O. Piece of cake. Which one do you want to go to now? You don't want that. No. Go dog. Yeah. Go dog. Dog. I felt your knee buckle. <laughs>
Okay. Yep. Good? Yep. Jump shot. Needs to go to you. Yep. What do you need to do? I can move it. That's it? That gun's quieter. Yeah. That's nice. That's me. Awesome. This needs to go to me. Right there. All right, you guys, things are going pretty good. Plumbing line's going right along. It's about 2.45 right now, and we just had some banners made up. end of day four we are looking good so you have your plumb braces that go down right here that holds that side good that holds that side good so technically that corner is dialed a line brace goes off of the middle here it'll shoot across and go down to there what a line brace does is holds that wall straight so what we'll do is put a line brace from there down to there run a string line all the way along that outside and string it and make sure it's perfect and you adjust the middle of your wall with that brace there. You do the same thing on any bigger walls. And then spots like right here where you have intersecting walls, you theoretically shouldn't have to have a line brace since that's pretty close, but we'll check it, make sure that we're spot on all the way down. It's side, they'll probably paint it. So we're putting on all of our set nails right now. These go underneath all of your studs. Right there in the center. And what it allows you to do is set your sheet right on top and you know where your nailing is. Not only that, it holds your sheet perfectly to the bottom of the bottom plate. Typically this is something we have our laborers do, but there's only two of us on this project, and one of us has been framing for longer than I've been alive. I have stepped down to a laborer, and I am doing it. Others were asking about the gun we use for sheathing. We frame primarily with NR83As and NR83A2s, but for sheathing, we use NR83A5s, the brand new gun. Oop, threw my nails.
Awesome. Whole wall is done except for the top two feet. To me, a mile. A little bit more. That's it. Alright you guys, today is done. We got quite a bit done, but I'm not sure if this is going to be a full episode, half episode, something like that, mixed together with other crap. There's no way in hell I'm gonna make you guys sit through sheet nailing after sheet nailing after sheet nailing after sheet nailing. Not interesting whatsoever. But I am stoked to say that I think this is day day four and we are ready for our floor system. We are completely sheared. I need to pick up a new router tomorrow because there's no way in hell I'm cutting windows like that again tomorrow. Router out these windows real quick, but let's check it out. We are completely sheared out. We have this entryway door to frame and that is the last of our framing. As you guys know, the stair stringer runs into the entryway, so we're not sure what's gonna happen there, but when we figure that out, that will get framed. So this place was really simple and straightforward. Some of the places we do call for 8Ds and then 10Ds, 3 8 and then half inch sheets, 2 and 12, 6 and 12. This place is all 10Ds, 6 and 12. Can't get much better than that. But we are completely wrapped up and ready for our floor system. Day four, we're not looking bad, especially for two guys. Tomorrow we do have a couple helping hands come out because we don't have a lift and we need to get those PSLs in there and there's no way in hell we're getting them in with two people. They are longer than that and bigger than that. It has always amazed me and part of why I love my job so much is seeing how much two guys can get done in less than a week. We are ready for floor system. We'll get that thing going, sheet it out in no time and next thing you know, we'll be up top framing walls. There is a pretty cool detail. We have a cut and stack roof that goes, to give you guys an idea, that PSL is set back three foot nine. It'll run across here. And then two by four rafters run off of there, creating like a little eyebrow effect all the way around the building. Then all the way over to the entryway. Then the stairs cut up above it. That is it for this episode. I'm not sure if this is going to be a full episode, maybe a half episode, maybe mixed with some other content. I don't know. You guys will see this one way or another though. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, big thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, at Matt Bangswood. See you guys next time.